If you're a beginner and you want to learn Filipino and eventually study the grammar, this video is for you. I'll give a lot of examples. We'll go over pronouns, adjectives, and some basic verb conjugations. And hopefully, after this video, you would be able to make some short sentences of your own. So I'll assume that you have an idea of how um, Filipino sounds. Um, so we have five vowels, a, e, e, o, u. So that's how you pronounce them, not American pronunciation. Okay, it's a, e, e, o, u, ba, baby, bobu, ka, ke, ki, ko, u. Anyway, let's start. Pronouns. Ako. Ako. Ikaw. Ikaw, siya, siya, tayo, tayo, kami, kami, kayo, kayo, sila, sila. And then um, we have other pronouns. I don't know the linguistic terms for it, but it's ako. Ko, ikaw, ka, siya, niya, kayo, nyo. And we have kita, but just like I and then you. Um, you'll hear it in sentences like, Mahal kita, I love you. So we use kita for that. Um, here are some adjectives with the pronouns, so you have an idea. Maganda ako. Maganda ako. Maganda ka. Maganda ka. Maganda siya. Maganda siya. Mabait siya. Mabait siya. Matangkad siya. Matangkad siya. Matalino tayo. Matalino tayo. Pangit siya. Pangit siya. So, you could probably hear me that I don't really say E. For, for example, pangit. We kind of um, say it like E. Eh. Anyway, yeah. So, maganda ako, maganda ka, maganda siya. Mabait siya, matangkad siya, matalino tayo, matalino tayo, pangit siya. Okay. Um, but the more natural way of um, making these phrases or sentences would be to start it with ang. Ang. So with practice, you could do it. The mm sound might be hard for some. Um, but anyway, okay, here are some sentences which are more natural sounding. Ang ganda ko. Ang ganda ko. Ang ganda ko. Ang ganda mo. Ang ganda mo. Ang ganda mo. Ang ganda niya. Ang ganda niya. Ang bait niya. Ang bait niya. Ang tangkad niya. Ang tangkad niya. Ang tangkad niya. Ang talino mo, ang talino mo, ang guapo mo, ang guapo mo, ang bobo nyo, ang bobo nyo, ang pangat niya, ang pangat niya. So starting with ang has more impact. So if you're complimenting someone or making a comment, it's better to say it with ang than to use the ma form. Ma form one. Um, anyway, yeah, so I usually use this. Ang. Ang. Ang ganda niya. Ang guapo niya. Yeah, but, but, but with feelings, like, Ang ganda niya. Ang cute niya. Ang cute cute niya. Something like that. Okay. Alright, so here are some adjectives. I did not really think much about what adje adjectives to put, so these are random adjectives that I 
I typed earlier. Um, so yeah, maganda, maganda, pangit, pangit, mataba, mataba, payat, payat, matangkad, matangkad, malayo, malayo, malapit, malapit, mataas, mataas, mababa, mababa, masarap, masarap, mahal, mahal, mura, mura, matalino, matalino, bobo, bobo, mahirap, mahirap, mayaman, mayaman, madali, madali, maingay, maingay, tahimik, tahimik, mahiyain, mahiyain, matapang, matapang, matamis, matamis, malamig, malamig, mainit, mainit, marami, marami, konti, konti, Okay, sample sentences. Ang pangat ng internet. Ang pangat ng internet. So, we use pangit for a lot of things. Like, something that's of poor quality. So, it's not... The internet is ugly. But, it's like of poor quality. Mataba yung aso. Ang taba ng aso. Ang cute ng pusa. Ang cute ng pusa. Ang cute ng pusa. Ang payat niya. Ang ingay nyo. Ang ingay nyo. Matangkad ako. It's a lie. I'm not matangkad. Malayo pa ba? Malayo pa ba? So, pa is still. Is it still far? Malapit na ang Pasko. Na is like already. Malapit na ang Pasko. Malapit ka lang pala. Malapit ka lang pala. Malapit is like, um, wow, you're actually just close by. But like, with the context of maybe their address. Masarap ba? Masarap ba? Ang sarap ng adobo. Ang sarap ng adobo. Ang mahal naman. Ang mahal naman. Okay, I'm complaining. Ang pangat ng quality. Ang pangat ng quality. The quality is bad. Ba is a question marker. So, for yes or no questions. Okay, so I'll go and read the examples. Malayo po ba? Malayo po ba? So, po is something we add to our sentences to make it polite. So, you can use it with elderly people, people older than you, or just as a sign of respect. Malayo pa ba? Malayo pa ba? Is it still far? Pa, again, means still. So, malayo pa ba? You're getting impatient. Malayo pa ba? Bobo ka ba? Are you dumb? <laughs> Essential phrases. Bobo ka ba? Okay, don't, don't, don't say it if you don't want to start a war or anything. Okay. Mahal ba? Mahal ba? Is it expensive? Mahal ba? Nag-aral ka na ba? Nag-aral ka na ba? Have you studied? Nag-aral ka na ba? Na? It's already. Alam mo ba? Alam mo ba? Alam mo ba? Oh, alam mo ba is when you have something to tell. Maybe something you want to share. Um, maybe it's gossip or maybe something about you. Pilipino ka ba? Pilipino ka ba? May pera ka ba? May pera ka ba? 
guess I don't. <laughs> ako wala. <laughs> May pera ka pa ba? May pera ka pa ba? Do you still have money? May pagkain ka pa ba? Do you still have food? There's pa, which is still. Kumain ka na ba? Kumain ka na ba? It's a very common Filipino greeting. We love asking people if they've eaten. It's just like our way of saying hello. <laughs> Natulog ka na ba? Natulog ka na ba? People ask me this often because I don't sleep. I s- yeah. I haven't slept yet. Yeah. Deadline na ba? Deadline na ba? When you're clueless and you don't know when the deadlines are. Deadline na ba? Mahal mo pa ba? Mahal mo pa ba? So maybe you can't move on and you still love someone and your friend is concerned. Yeah. Now let's get to my and wala. Ita, nota. So here are some examples. May sahod na. It's what we usually say while waiting for the 15th or the 30th of the month. May internet na ba? May internet na ba? If you're gonna visit the Philippines, you will realize how slow our internet is and how we often get disconnected. So, it will be a very useful phrase. May internet na ba? May internet na ba? My friends ka ba? My friends ka ba? When someone doesn't have friends, maybe. I don't know. I just put it there. Is an example. Yeah. May saklay ka ba? May saklay ka ba? People often ask me this, but they should have known that I don't comb my hair. Wala na akong pera. Wala na akong pera. Very useful phrase for broke people like me. Wala akong pets. Wala akong pets. Wala akong pets. It's so sad. So as you can see, we actually use, you can use a lot of English words, so you don't really need to learn lot of Filipino words um, if you're thinking of learning Filipino. You could just put English words here and there. Okay, next. May kapatid ka ba? May kapatid ka ba? Do you have siblings? May kapatid ba siya? May kapatid ba siya? Wala na tayong bigas. Wala na tayong bigas. Bigas is uncooked rice. The grains. Yeah. May pag-asa pa. May pag-asa pa. There is still hope. Or is there? Wala nang pag-asa. Wala nang pag-asa. There is no more hope. Wala na akong pasensya. Wala na akong pasensya. Yes. Spanish words. Yeah. But we say it. Pasensya. Like pasensya. Alright, next. Gusto ko na noun. Gusto ko na. I want. Gusto ko na isang million. I want one million. Gusto ko na isang million. Gusto ko na bakasyon. I want a vacation. Gusto ko na Siberian Husky. Gusto ko na dictionary. Gusto ko na kape. Gusto ko ng boyfriend. No, I don't really. I don't. No. Nah. Nah. But for people who want a boyfriend. Essential phrases. Gusto ko ng boyfriend. Gusto ko ng girlfriend. Gusto mo ng pizza. If you're saying. I wanna say. You want some pizza. Yeah. Gusto mo ng pizza. Gusto mo ng burger. Gusto mo ng soft drinks. Gusto nila ng soft drinks. Gusto mo ng bingsu. You know bingsu? Bingsu is very good. Gusto mo ng bingsu? Gusto niya ng tubig. Gusto niya ng tubig. Gusto mo? Gusto mo? Do you have food? And 
your friend is staring at you and they're hungry and they're just, you know, hoping you would notice, you can say that. Gusto mo? And give them your food. Gusto ko. I want some. I want it. Gusto mo? Anong gusto mo? Anong gusto mo? So if you're ordering food, yeah, use that. Anong gusto mo? Or if you're talking to a group of people, you could say, Anong gusto nyo? Anong gusto nyo? Now, with verbs, if you want to do something, um, you could you can just say, Gusto ko, and then verb. Uh, it's actually, Gusto kong, and then the verb. But the NG sound might be difficult. But anyway. Okay, both will be fine, and we will understand you if you type gusto ko and then the verb. So anyway, um, I'll go ahead and read the examples. So gusto ko matulog, or gusto ko matulog, gusto ko mag-shopping, gusto ko mag-shopping, gusto ko kumain sa labas, gusto ko kumain sa labas, gusto ko kumain sa labas. Gusto kong kumain. Gusto kong kumain. Gusto kong kumain ng bingso. Gusto kong kumain ng bingso. Gusto kong manood ng movie. Gusto kong manood ng movie. Gusto kong mag-aral. I'm the only one who says that. Gusto kong mag-aral. Gusto kong mag-aral. <laughs> Gusto kong mag-aral. Gusto kong matuto mag-drive. Gusto kong matuto mag-drive. I wanna learn how to drive. Gusto kong matuto ng Japanese. Gusto kong matuto ng Japanese. Gusto kong mag-swimming. Gusto kong mag-swimming. Gusto kong pumunta sa Korea. Gusto kong pumunta sa Korea. Gusto kong mag-marathon ng anime. Gusto kong mag-marathon ng anime. Gusto kong mag-travel. Anong gusto mong gawin? Anong gusto mong gawin? What do you wanna do? Anong gusto mong gawin? Yeah. Next. Okay, so um, here are some verbs. Very random because I made this while I couldn't sleep. So, yeah, totally random. But, okay, I'll go ahead and read them. Bumili. Bumili. Kumain. Kumain. Kumanta. Kumanta. Matulog. Matulog, manood, manood, makinig, makinig, lumabas, lumabas, pumasok, pumasok, pumunta, pumunta, mag-aral, mag-aral, magluto, magluto, maglinis, maglinis, magturo, magturo. Magtrabaho, magtrabaho, magkwento, magkwento, magmessage, magmessage, magtanong, magtanong, magcomment, magcomment, magbenta, magbenta, magisip, magisip, sumayaw, sumayaw, sumakay, sumakay, sumigaw, sumigaw, umalis. So, I don't know if you noticed the pattern, but there are a lot of words that has the um sound, and it's one of the types of verb, I guess. <laughs> um, and then there's the mag, mag and then a noun. So, you can use mag and a random borrowed word. So, like I said, you don't really need to learn much Filipino words for you to speak Filipino because you can just use English words like mag research to do some research. Yeah. So, um, as Filipinos or any native speaker, most of the time uh, we don't really know the rules. We know the rules, sort of, but like most of it is like instinctive. Or it's because we speak the language so we don't think about the rules that much 
So I'll focus on examples, but I'll show the patterns. It won't be super technical. If you want something technical, then you can look up. There are quite a lot of resources that have the technical structure of things, but we're here to, I don't know, hopefully um, show you, show you the verbs through examples. Let's focus through examples. So it's kind of tricky if you're already familiar, if you've already tried looking up um, how to study Filipino, you've tried looking up the cases. Apparently we have cases, but yeah, cases are the verb conjugations. It can be tricky. So in this video, I'm just gonna teach you the basic conjugations like present, past, and future. But at the end of the video, I'll also include some random things. Yeah, nothing too scary. Okay, so like I said earlier, we have the um sounds, or it's like an infix. It is an infix. So that's bumile, kumain, kumanta, lumabas, mayao, sumakay, sumigao, pumanta. So they actually have a root, um, a root word, and then we just added the um after the first letter. But let's focus more on the sound rather than the math of it uh, because that way you get used to the sound. Anyway, here are some examples. So, bumili ka ng bigas. This is, bumili ka ng bigas. Bumili ka sa internet. Bumili ka sa internet. Online shopping. Kumain ka na. Kumain ka na. Matulog ka na. Matulog ka na. Matulog ka na. Pumunta kayo sa birthday ko, ah. Pumunta kayo sa birthday ko, ah. Or you can also say, Punta kayo sa birthday ko, ah. We're lazy, so we don't pronounce all the syllables. Okay. Wag kang sumigaw. Wag kang sumigaw. Don't yell. Sumakay na kayo, dali. Sakay na kayo, dali. We're lazy. We don't say the um sometimes. Lumabas ka naman. Lumabas ka naman. Okay, maybe someone doesn't go out. I mean, we should stay indoors. But I guess we should go out sometimes to get some sun. Okay, so, um, so like I said, there's actually a root word and we just put the um there after the first letter. So, bumili, bili, kumain, kain, kumanta, kanta, lumabas, lavas, sumayaw, sayaw, sumakay, sakay, sumigaw, sigaw, pumunta, punta, lumapit, lapit. Okay, so some samples. More examples, not so much. Okay, bili na. I feel like an endorse. Bili na. Hi, bumili na kayo. Bumili na kayo. Like, what are you waiting for? Just buy, buy my products. Put na tayo sa school. Pumunta na tayo sa school. Let's go to school now. Lapit ka sa blackboard. Lumapit ka. Lapit ka. So. Come closer. Dagawa. Alright. Uh, yeah, again, here are the verbs. And I'm showing them again. So maybe you could see the ums there. The ums, ums, ums. Um, and the mags. <laughs> I don't know whatever they're classified as. We None of us know. I mean, maybe some of us do, but whatever. Okay, let's focus on examples. All right, so if you've noticed, there's also the ma, matulog, manood, mahinig. So there are a list of verbs that sounds that starts with ma. Okay, so here are examples for matulog. So tulog is sleep. Matulog to sleep. Natutulog sleeping. Natulog has slept or slept. Matutulog, will sleep. So again, that's matulog, matulog, natutulog, 
Natutulo, Natulo, Natulo, Matutulo. Sample sentences. Natutulo yung baby. Natutulo yung baby. The baby is sleeping. Natutulo yung pusa. Natutulo yung pusa. The cat is sleeping. Natutulo na kayo. Natutulo na kayo. Are you guys sleeping? Natutulo na kayo. Natulo ka ba kagabi? Natulo ka ba kagabi? Natulo ka ba kagabi? Ano? <laughs> ano raw? Natulo ka ba kagabi? Hindi ako marunong magsalita. Natulo ka ba kagabi? Matulog ka na. Matulog ka na. I'm talking to myself. I haven't slept. Matulog ka na. Matutulog ako bukas. Matutulog ako bukas. Okay, so here are more uh, conjugations, just the basic ones. So we have matulog to sleep, natutulog sleeping, natulog has slept, matutulog will sleep, manood to watch, nanonood watching, nanood has watched, manonood will watch, makinig to listen, nakikinig listening nakinig listened makikinig will listen more sample sentences natulog ako kanina natulog ako kanina i slept earlier nanood ako ng k-drama kagabi nanood ako ng k-drama kagabi i watched a k-drama last night Nakinig ako ng podcast kagabi. Nakinig ako ng podcast kagabi. I listened to some podcasts last night. Nakikinig ka pa ba? Nakikinig ka pa ba? Are you still listening? Nakikinig ka, ka pa ba? Nakikinig ka pa ba? I haven't slept. Okay. Sorry about that. Nakikinig ako. Nakikinig ako. Makinig ka nga. Makinig ka nga. If someone's not listening, you can say that. Makinig ka nga. Matutulog ako mamaya. I'll sleep later. Matutulog ako mamaya. Manonood ako ng anime bukas. Manonood ako ng anime bukas. So, I'll put them, put them together. Um, okay, so... Present or present progressive, actually both, is natutulog, nanonood, nakikinig. So as you can see, it has na at the beginning and then we say the first syllable twice. So tulog becomes tutulog, natutulog, nanonood, nakikinig. Okay? Past is just natulog, nanood, nakinig. So it's just na. Future, matutulog, nanonood, ma manonood, makikinig. So it's just ma, and then say the first syllable twice. Matutulog, nanon manonood, makikinig. Okay, so all of the ma, ma verbs, whatever they're called, um, follows this pattern. So focus more on how they sound and practice. Okay, so here are examples of the conjugation for words with um, the infix um. So bile, bumile, bumibile, bibile, kain, kumain, kumakain, kakain, kanta, Kumanta, kumakanta, kakanta, sayaw, sumayaw, sumasayaw, sasayaw. And together, it's bumibili, kumakain, kumakanta, sumasayaw. That's a present or progressive. Then there's past, bumili, kumain, kumanta, sumayaw. Future, Bile, 
bibili, kain, kakain, kanta, kakanta, sayaw, sasayaw. Sample sentences. Bumili ka na ba ng sabon? Bumili ka na ba ng sabon? Have you bought soap yet? Bumili ako ng ice cream. Bumili ako ng ice cream. I bought some ice cream. Kumakanta siya. Kumakanta siya. He's singing. Or he's singing. Sumasayaw sila. Sumasayaw sila. They're dancing. Kakain ako mamaya. Kakain ako mamaya. I'll eat later. Kumanta siya sa party. Kumanta siya sa party. He sang at the party. Sumayaw sila sa party. Sumayaw sila sa party. They dance at the party. Sasayaw kami mamaya. Sasayaw kami mamaya. We will dance later. Bibili ako bukas. Bibili ako bukas. I'll buy it tomorrow. Kumakain ako. I'm eating. Kumakain ako. I'm eating. Maybe someone is showing you something you don't want to see while eating. Kumakain ako eh. Yeah. Okay. Another type of verb um, are the ones that start with mag. Mag and then a noun. So, mag-aral, magluto, maglinis, magturo, magtrabaho, magkwento, magmessage, magtanong, maghugas, maglaba, magbenta, magisip, magfacebook, magcomputer. Okay, so sample, sample. Uh... Mag-aral, nag-aral, nag-aaral, mag-aaral. Magluto, nagluto, nagluluto, magluluto. Magtrabaho, nagtrabaho, nagtratrabaho, magtratrabaho. Mag-isip, nag-isip, nag-iisip, mag-iisip. Magturo, nagturo. Magtuturo, magmessage, nagmessage, nagmemessage, magmemessage. Okay, samples. Nagturo ako ng Korean last year. Nagturo ako ng Korean last year. Nagluto ako kahapon. Nagluto ako kahapon. Nag-aral ako kagabi. Nag-aral ako kagabi. Nagtrabaho ako last year. Nagtrabaho ako last year. Nagmessage siya last month. Nagmessage siya last month. Nagluluto ako. Nagluluto ako. Nag-aaral ako. Nag-aaral ako. Nag-iisip pa ako. Nag-iisip pa ako. Magtratrabaho ako next year. Magtratrabaho ako next year. Magluluto ako bukas. Magluluto ako bukas. Mag-aaral ako bukas. Mag-aaral ako bukas. Essential phrases. Mag-aaral ako bukas. Lies I say. Maglilinis ako next week. Maglilinis ako next week. Okay, so here I group them again by tenses. So you get the sound again. So that's nag-aaral, nag-aaral, nagluluto. Nagluluto, nagtratrabaho, nagtratrabaho, nag-iisip, nag-iisip, sorry, nag-iisip, nagtuturo, nagtuturo, nagme-message, nagme-message, naglilinis, naglilinis. Omo? Nagre-review, nagre-review. I was like, it's a typo. What? Nagre-review. Okay, past tense. Nag-aral, nagluto, nagturo, naglinis. Future. Mag-aaral, mag-aaral, magluluto, magluluto, magtuturo, magtuturo, maglilinis, maglilinis, magre-review, magre-review, mag-online, mag-online. And... I introduced kita at the beginning, and kita is like I to you or something. So here are examples. Gusto kita. I like you. Mahal kita. 
I love you. Ma mahalin kita. I will love you. Turuan kita or tuturuan kita. I'll teach you. Pupuntahan kita. Pupuntahan kita. I'll visit you. Ipagluluto kita. I will cook for you. So, ipagluluto is uh, kind of a scary-ish conjugation, but just learn it as it is. Ipagluluto kita is to, to cook for someone. To cook for you. I'll cook for you. Yeah. Okay. So, I um, just wanted to cover the basic tenses, but I'll also show some more examples um, and some comparisons. Hopefully, this would not scare you. Sakalin. Sakalin. I guess that's the verb. Anyway, sakalin. Sinakal niya yung vida. Sinakal niya yung vida. She strangled the main character. Sinasakal mo ako. You're suffocating me. Or you're strangling me. But anyway, more, it's more like you're suffocating me. Sinasakal mo ako. Nasasakal ako. I'm getting suffocated. Or sakal na sakal na ako. I'm so suffocated. Sasakalin ko siya. I'll strangle him. Sakalin mo siya. Strangle him. I don't know. I... I have no um, streak of violence in me. This is just a scary example. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, patayin. Wow. Disturbing verb choices. But it's not just kill. It's also used for turning off um, lights and electronics. Um, okay. Patayin mo ilaw. Patayin mo ilaw. Patayin mo ilaw. Pinatay niya yung kontrabida. Pinatay niya yung kontrabida. Pinapatay nila yung mga tao. Pinapatay nila yung mga tao. Papatayin ko yung ibis. Papatayin ko yung ibis. Papatay yung computer. Papatay yung computer. Nakakamatay ang kape. Nakakamatay ang kape. Nakakamatay... Namamatay lagi yung ilaw. Namamatay lagi yung ilaw. Maybe it needs to be changed. Namatay yung bida. Namatay yung bida. Napatay yung ibon. Napatay yung ibon. And then there's nakaka. Nakaka. Which is used for... Um, words like this. Nakaka-inspire. It's inspiring. Nakaka-inspire. Nakakatamad. Very useful. Nakakatamad. Useful phrases. Useful words. I mean. Nakaka-antok. Nakaka-antok. Nakakapagod. 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 And there's naka, I guess is like was able to so nakatulog ako kagabi nakatulog ako kagabi it could be like an accident like you fell asleep while chatting with a friend or something nakatulog ka ba? nakatulog ka ba? were you able to sleep? nakakain ka ba? were you able to eat? nakakain ka ba? nakakain ka ba? nakauwi ka ba? nakauwi ka ba? Nakabili ka ba ng pagkain? Nakabili ka ba ng pagkain? Nakapunta ka ba sa party? Nakapunta ka ba sa party? And then there's pake or pa, which means please. Very useful. Um, but here are just a few examples. Okay. Paprint po. Paprint po. So, if you don't have a printer at home like me, could say that. Paprint po. Paturo naman. Paturo naman. Paturo naman. Please teach me. Papatay yung ilaw. Papatay yung ilaw. Please turn off the light. Papatay naman ng ilaw. You can also say papatay. It's probably informal. Definitely informal. I probably say papatay naman yung ilaw. More. Pakai on yung aircon. Pakai on yung aircon. 
Paki-off yung electric fan. Paki-off yung electric fan. Collect ng post. It's a message I used to receive a lot. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then there's kumain and kinain. The difference is the um and the in. It's, they're both kain, kain, and then there's the infix. I don't know technical things. Let's just go to the example. So, kumakain yung pusa. The cat is eating. Kinain ng pusa yung chicken. So, the chicken is the receiver of the action. It's the direct object. In Korean, it would have the rule, ul, uh, particle, or the o particle in Japanese. So, the cat ate the chicken. Nakain yung chicken. The chicken was eaten. Kinain sila ng monster. They were eaten by the monster. Kainin mo yung chicken. Eat the chicken. I want chicken. Anyway. Anyway, okay, so that's all I have for today. It's been a long video. Um, yeah, I hope you learned a thing or two, hopefully. If you found this um, video helpful, you could leave a comment. If you have specific requests, then I'd make a lesson plan for that or whatever um yeah yeah thanks for watching and for taking interest in filipino and see you around i guess <laughs> hopefully please subscribe yeah please subscribe i mostly post um I mostly post random videos here like drawing, time lapse, um, language practice, ramblings. But if you find this useful, I'd, I might make more of this. Maybe. I don't know. We don't know. Yeah. Alright, stay safe and see you next time. Bye!